I feel it was important to make sure that the steps of becoming a Christian are clarified. Becoming a Christian means that someone needs to go through real steps. Today, people often just pronounce themselves Christians, and they think it's that easy. But becoming a Christian is not an easy process. It's like giving birth to a child. There are real, physical, emotional, mental processes that one has to go through. And the one who initiates this, the one who surrounds us when this happens, and the one who carries these through in us is the Holy Spirit. And when a person reaches a certain level of maturity, James says that faith without works is dead. It's very important for us to authenticate these internal changes by separating ourselves from sin, because the Word of God says that whoever commits the acts of the flesh, the idolatry, different occult behavior, sexual immorality, uh, homosexuality, as we read in 1 Corinthians 6, because in these areas we see the great difference between and the opposition between the constitution of God, the kingdom of God, and the laws of the world. And the Apostle Paul makes it clear that whoever is involved in these sexual immorality, taking drugs, etc., life of rebellion, cannot be a partaker of the kingdom of God. So if someone claims to be a Christian and at the same time doesn't put an end to these acts of the flesh, cannot be a partaker of these blessings. Continually sin destroys the blessings of God in a person's life. It draws up a wall and what remains in Christian's life he claims to be a Christian, but everything that he does is anomia, lawlessness. And unfortunately, there's too much of this on this earth. There are too many pseudo-Christians, nominal Christians. And the perfect will of God is that Christians be genuine, real Christians. They follow Jesus Christ and become Christ-like people.